this marriage is over. I promise you, Vivian, don't try me. I'm going to go so very far, so far away from you, from my family, so all of you can have what you want and I can stay in peace. My dear, you're not going to apologize to anyone. You owe no one an apology. Mark will not be able to do anything. I do not even understand the way he behaves these days. It's as though I am losing the grip I have on him. He's not strong anymore. Because the way he flips and changes these days is... <sighs> See, if he likes, let him backflip. Eh? You are not going to apologize to anyone. You all know what an apology. Are you very sure he won't do anything? <sighs> because if I stop now, Mark will be on their side and I will lose this battle. Then maybe I'll be the one who will be chased out of this place. See, before your mother left, she said I should take good care of you. What you would do is ignore and pretend like nothing happened. Let me Sue is going to force you to apologize. I will force her. Push this one. My name is Lisa. And you're so lucky that I introduced myself using words. So you are the thing that has been engineering this foolish woman into ruining her home. Maybe. Is this the thing that has not been married that forced her way into your matrimonial home? See you! Welcome to my world! This is exactly the imp that doesn't have any self-respect for herself following a man that is not yet married to her like a dog, a <laughs> cheap dog! Let me ask you a question, Milo. Are you married? No. Are you in any relationship? What is your business. Huh? <laughs> I knew it. Because if you were in a relationship or even married, you would not answer me the way you did just now. So what gave you the right to give relationship or marriage advice? I know I am not married, but I'm in a serious relationship. Almost getting married. But you? Nothing. Instead, you're looking for who to to ruin Manipulate into spin sandwich like you! Watch your mouth and shut up! Listen to me, this is my friend and she's here to visit me. I am warning you. Out of my sight right now and do not bother my friend. <laughs> I do not have any plans of bothering your friend. But you see that apology she told you not to render to mama? You lie! You will render that apology to Mama, whether you like it or not. And what will you do if she doesn't apologize to Mama? I wasn't talking to you. I am talking to you. Respect yourself, Of maybe. course not, I won't. What will you do? Lisa, if she doesn't apologize to that old fool, what will you do? Hmm? Who did you just call an old fool? She is talking about your so-called mother-in-law. from this fight. She's running. I'm sorry you came to meet that fight. I'm sorry I almost dragged you into that silly fight. Mm, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, this house has become 
a war zone or a house of commotion. So much so that if we don't fight in a day, I feel sick, you know? Are you for real? I'm serious. It's either I feel sick or I feel like there's something not right in this house. That is what Vivian has caused. Vivian brings trouble into this family every single day. Imagine her bringing her friend to this house to fight you. Huh? And you two, you need to calm down. Eh? It's not every fight that you get involved with, especially with Vivian. In fact, when you ignore her, she feels pained. But, but why, would they say, why, would, why would they say that rubbish from their mouths? Why would that stupid girl call Mama an old fool? And she even had the gods to still accuse Mama of having something to do with her husband, Mark. Mama's son! You know, whenever I think about it, I feel like killing Vivian because this whole thing is disgusting and irritating. If not for my mother, I swear I would have killed Vivian a long time ago. Because you know what? Beating doesn't even do anything to her anymore. You beat her today, she, she, she becomes worse tomorrow. I've tried everything with her. I've tried punching her, slapping her, beating her, everything I've tried. But she becomes worse. That means she will continue collecting that beating. Because I don't understand. I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm not married to your brother yet. But I know the love you, Mama, and my fiancé Ben has for people that are coming into this house. And for that reason, I will not fold my hands and watch Vivian rule this family. I have my leave from work now. And that spare time I have, I will not let you and Ben fight this fight alone. I will make sure I put her in her place. What rubbish. Thanks so much for your concern. I really appreciate everything you do. You know, it's so disheartening and heartbreaking that a family that's supposed to be, you know, coming together in peace, laughter and happiness, we're always fighting and conspiring against each other. This house is becoming too toxic. You know, sometimes when I go out there, I feel so much more at peace. I don't know, I feel happier when I'm out there. But when I come into this house, I feel sad because I know that Vivian will cause one trouble or the other or one fight or the other. I'm tired. It, it, it's not funny anymore. It's not. I will not say I don't understand you. I understand you totally. But deep down in my heart, I still believe one day Vivian will change. Hmm. Think so? That's my secret prayer. Because if she doesn't, Mark should be able to change her. Because <laughs> if Mark doesn't, I'm afraid to say this so. She might just be the end of your brother. God forbid. God forbid. I don't pray that because nothing scares me more like losing my brother. What? What are you doing in my room? To think that with the disgusting and disrespectful, shameless character that you exhibited, you're still in this house. How shameless can you be? Vivian, what are you saying? A mother caught sleeping with her son is still in her son's house. Ah, ah, mama! What other level of shamelessness do you want to attain? Are you still holding on to that? Yes, so I am holding strongly to it because it is the truth. I know what I saw here. So I am telling the truth. So if you claim that you are not doing anything with your son, then you will pack your things and get out of this house. But no! You are still here. That means you are sleeping with your son. Vivian, do you think I am a child that you can manipulate out of this house? Eh? Vivian, you will surely apologize to me. I have been trying to wave it off me. But come tomorrow, I am assuring you that you, this Vivian, you will kneel down with this your knees. Beg and apologize to me. If you don't, just know that I am not Max's mother. It will never happen over my dead body. Okay, that is your wish. Now, get out of my room. Out!
Salut tu So it has become a norm for anybody to just wake up and call for a meeting in my house. Who called for this meeting? What does the person have to say? Because I have better things to do with my time. I called for the meeting. In what capacity? Who are you? A stranger? In my house? Madam, if you don't cause problems for a time, for a, for a period of time, would you die? If you're not... Talking nonsense without even listening. Can't you even for once listen? Assuming what they're telling you before you even say anything, rather than just always open your mouth. Wow, rubbish be coming out of it. Nonsense be coming. What is your problem exactly? What's your problem? Look at this big fool. At 40, in fact. So your girlfriend coming to a place like this where there are people older than her and calls for a meeting and you see nothing wrong with that. What does she have to say? Um, please, are what's happening here? As you can see, we're all tired and we had a hectic day. Please, can you cut to the chase? She will not understand that. People work really hard because she just sits down in one office, lazing around, wasting time and money, pretending that she's working. Um, Lisa, please, what is it? I I know that for you to have called this meeting, you have something important to discuss with us. So. Cut to the chase and ignore some useless, insignificant individuals who have the, 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 the right, who think they have the right to talk about people who work when they don't even work themselves. We're in, we're in the same boat, you know. What's calling kettle black? So if you want to talk to me, come directly. Talk to me directly. Of course I'm talking to you. Will you beat me? You know I'm talking to you. And you can't do anything about it. Hmm. I'm just holding myself. I like I'm putting myself under so much control. <laughs> hmm. I will just go straight to the point. And yes, I know I am not married into this family yet. But I appreciate the fact that this family has acknowledged and respected me. I will not take that for granted. A lot of unnecessary things have been going on in this house. Both insulting to Mama, Vivian questioning Mama's character, and even that of her husband. What am I even saying? I do not care if you insult your husband. I'll say whatever it is you want to say to your husband. That is your business. You, both of you will settle that at husband and wife. But you see, Mama, I will not sit and watch you, Vivian, insult Mama in this house. I will not do that. And what are you going to do? And everyone has kept quiet about this whole thing. Like, we've swept this whole issue under the carpet. If Vivian does not go on her knees to apologize to Mama, and I, I feel because we, we kept quiet because we know Vivian is a mad person, but even madness can be corrected, sometimes cured. If she does not go on her knees to apologize to Mama, I will not take it. What will you do, I ask you again? What will you do about it? You shut up that your lazy mouth. What? Shut up your mouth! My responsible daughter-in-law to be is talking, so keep quiet! What? You heard her. The actual daughter-in-law of this family is speaking. So listen, MC Barrel. Um. I don't know how to say this, but Vivian owes Mama an apology. And if she doesn't apologize, there will be no peace in this house. Because we can't just all sit here and watch somebody insult Mama and we don't do anything about it. Regardless of who said it or where it's coming from, the person has to apologize. So Vivian, please apologize to Mama. Lisa, my daughter, thank you for bringing up this matter. If you never did, nobody would have done so. I have kept quiet for too long in this house. Vivian has pointed her fingers numerous times 
to my eyes, almost even dipping her fingers into my eyes, but I tried to ignore it. But this time around, I can no longer ignore it. She has to apologize to me. Mark, before the end of this night, Vivian must come before me, kneel down in front of me, and tender apology to me for pointing her finger at my character. As your mother and who brought you up, she must do that. Otherwise, otherwise, if she doesn't, what will you do? I will leave this house and never come back again. Mama, oh, what are you saying? What do you mean by you will leave and not come back? Ah! You will leave! That is exactly what I want! You will leave! Are you mad? Are you stupid? My mother is not leaving this house. You hear me? If you don't kneel down and apologize to mother for what she did to her, you'll be the one leaving this house. I promise you. Well, I'm not going anywhere, you know. This is my husband's house and we're not leaving. And your husband is saying that you should go down on your knees and apologize to mama. Oh, what? Yes. Vivian, I've always stood by you. I've always supported you in everything you did or you've been doing. But you see this particular one? It's a no-no for me. You have to go down on your knees and apologize to mama. And what if I don't? You heard her. You will leave this house. I want to see you. <laughs> <laughs>